Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up free.js. So free.js is a WebGL framework that simplifies a lot of tasks. And one of the many tasks that it simplifies is loading in an external 3D model. It could be in a OBJ format, which is known as Wavefront. It could be, you know, a FBX format, a 3DS format. It supports you know, virtually any format that you can throw at it. And it's really, really simple. It's still very useful to know, you know, WebGL, hence, you know, this tutorial series. But for model loading, I recommend going down the you know external framework route and doing it that way because if you're doing anything substantial recommend a framework where again the WebGL knowledge and the code will help you as well so let's set up free.js so I've just got the code from the you know drawing a cube video you could have it from any other video virtually you know any other tutorial in the series the reason I'm gonna you know use this one is because I'm actually gonna get rid of most of the code anyway, but it's just to show you the simplification of a cube to a cube in free.js. So Google free.js and go to this link, I'll provide a link to it. Go to documentation and the first one selected, that's what we want, is getting started. So the first thing that you need to do is include the free.js library. You can either just click this and download it and then just place it in your directory and include it that way. Or you can just copy link address, which literally is a link to the file. So this is great for testing, but because this is the latest you know, version, if you just link it this way, it will change over time. As a result, things may break when things in the core 3.js framework change. That's the reason it's recommended to download it. But again, this is just for, you know, just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so now if we go to our index.html, we need another script tag. Now we need to put it before the other one because we're gonna be using the code from the 3.js library, which we have just included right there in this file. So if you have a look at all of this, this is what we did to draw a cube. We don't need any of this anymore. So we can get rid of it. Or, you know, 200 plus lines. And now what we want to do is just scroll down a bit and we'll literally get this code. And I'll, you know, you know, just go over it, you know, what it's doing. And just want to get this. Paste it. And save it. Sort of this indentation as well. Okay. Don't want it this way. And ah, so I've just noticed that 3.js, their coding standards are very similar to mine. They have these spaces before you know, after and before the parentheses. I do them here as well. Again, you know, very similar. I hadn't noticed that before. Uh, I, I do want a space between that and the comma. Okay, so put one there, and then we're good to go. So if we run that, this is what we get now. So this is the new canvas. So we need to get rid of that old canvas from here. So we've got some CSS applied to it. Doesn't really matter because we don't need it anymore. But I will comment it out. And now what we are gonna do is reload and we get this. It's pretty big and that's because if we go in here, first of all, you need to create a scene. This is where everything will be displayed. Then you set up the camera, which is a perspective camera. There's, there's two main types of camera, perspective and orthographic perspective. Basically, if the object gets further away, it gets smaller. Orthographic, it doesn't. Orthographic is great for stuff like architecture and structural engineering. And But yeah, I'm going to explain that more in a separate video. And then you just need to provide the aspect ratio. You do that by doing the width times the height. And in this case, that's what they are using as the values. But we don't want those values. But let, we'll set them in a second. Then you create a renderer. This is for, you know, the actual drawing. 
and then in it, then we create a cube and we apply the geometry and the material. So geometry is not the size of it, material is what color, so it's just all one color currently. And then we provide a Z position. So it's just a little further right instead of just instead of the camera being right inside of it. And this animate method is just rotating the cube. Okay, so what we want to do is make it a little smaller. We want to use these dimensions 640 by 480. Let's go on and put it in like so. Now, as an extra task, what I want you to do is use the dynamic method using the WebGL code to basically do this. So it's always dynamically set. But I want, I want that as an extra task for you. For 640. 480 that should be a lot smaller now and there we go it's kind of hard to see that it's a cube because there's no shading no individual colors but you can sort of see it right there and that is it that's all you need to do to set up 3.js and we are drawing a cube now in a separate video i'll cover how to load in a model so thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome tutorial